So I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? So he straight say, he looking at y'all, he looking at all of us, he just looking like, so what's one of y'all motherfuckers robbed my uncle? Oh. Oh, why, Lord, why? Why, Lord, why I gotta die? Money, money, plug, money, plug, money, money, plug, money, money. Yeah, how much you got, how much you tryna spend? Huh? How much you got, how much you tryna spend? Huh? How much you got, how much you tryna spend? What? How much you got, how much you tryna spend? What do you do, YTZ? We outside. We outside. And you gotta know that we coming outside. Y'all look real close and now walking down the street. Y'all way down the street. Y'all see it popping. Doing her little walk about it. That's what she said. But anyway, y'all, it's motherfucking story time. Y'all know story time's lit. This one for the books. All right, so back. As y'all see by the title, shit crazy, y'all. So I'm gonna tell y'all the backstory, and then um, I don't know how I should start with the story or the. I'm gonna start with the backstory. So it was me and three of my homeboys. Mind you, we like 14, 13. All of us around the same age. We like 14 and 13. Cool. So one day, I mean, we thought we was rough and tough rocks, clubs, boys, and we thought we was so gangster at that age. So. Yeah, we was trying to do gangster shit. So one night, we decide that we wanted to rob somebody. Mind you, we didn't have no weapon. We probably had like sticks and bats, but at this time, we thought we could knock anybody out. You know, we thought we was so tough. Ain't nobody really uh, tries yet, for real. So so we see a dude, he was, uh, he asked us about like some weed or something. Mind you, he was a little older. Like we young, so he was like, probably in his 40s, 40 something like that. So we like, it's a grown man. So it's about four of us. So we like, fuck it. So we end up beating the dude up and robbing him, right? Taking, he only probably had fucking 15 aisle or something like that. So we end up beating the dude up. And so bam, we take the little money. I guess we buy some weed or something. I don't know how we got the little weed, but this when Reggie was out, y'all. We was smoking regular weed. It wasn't no purple and all that shit yet. So we, uh... We had this little apartment that we, like somebody was fixing up an apartment, we broke into it and that's where we chilled at, you know? So one day, like it was that same night that we did the little rob robbery, if you want to call it that. Like we was young and dumb, but you know how it go. So we sitting there and shit, we like, uh, we rolling blunts and shit in our little trap house. That was our little clubhouse for real. Cause it was like a whole apartment. So I'm upstairs in the apartment just, walking around and stuff and my homeboys downstairs we had knock at the door mind you only like a select few people like if you like one of us type shit you know that we in there type so you know how it is like y'all got a spot you know it's one of us so so we had knock at the door so everybody being quiet like who the fuck is it all of us right here for real gonna only be a select few so i'm like all right i'm gonna go get the door so i'm like who is it so they say a name that we know so i'm like oh shit so that's that's such and such. I don't know how you know we in here, but that's such and such. He was an older dude. So, mind you, this dude is like, he was like a big time dude in my area. Like, a big time dude in the street. So, I opened the door, cause I'm like, man, he big time. I supposed to open the door. Like, if he, if he say open this door, I gotta open the door. So I opened the door. When I say he put the biggest fucking gun in my face, I ever seen a handgun that big ever in my life. So I'm sitting there damn that ready, piss on myself. I'm walking backwards at this point, like what the fuck? Two other people coming there with masks on, one of them had a bat and another one had like a shotgun. I'm like, what the fuck? He grabbed me and told me go in the living room. Now I'm walking in the living room. My homeboy's like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, whole time the one dude ain't have a mask. I say, oh shit, this shit ain't looking good for us. So. I'm sitting there like, yo, what the fuck? Mind you, I'm shaking like a bitch. We young as shit, man. We got pistols all in our face. We ain't ready for this shit right now. Like that shit caught us way off guard. So he tell us, all of us get on our knees. He lined us up and made all of us get on our knees. I said, oh God, Lord, this is it. Lord, I'm going to die. At this point, we all just sitting there looking at each other like, 
He like, what's one of y'all motherfuckers beat my uncle up and took his money? I said, oh God, this is us he talking about. We all thought we, we was bad. We don't know who robbed. Man, we ain't robbed nobody. We thinking like, man, somebody put a gun on somebody or something. Like, man, we ain't do this shit. We telling that, man, we ain't, it wasn't us, it wasn't us. He said, no, nah, what's one of y'all motherfuckers beat my uncle up? I said, shit, it was us. That's what I kept thinking in my head, but I ain't said it. So he just kept asking. He put the gun, I'm, I'm like this, he putting the gun to us, making us lift our head. I'm like, man, this shit is over. So he like, Who, what's one of y'all did that shit? Next thing you know, rest in peace my man, yo. Emmanuel Govaya, AKA Maniac. That's my heart and soul, one of my best yo. friends. He passed away uh, a few years ago. And um, yeah, like when we was, when we was, uh, when we was in there on our knees, yo, like, I did that shit. Uh, why you say that? What the fuck? I'm looking at him like, man, we could have played this shit off, said we ain't do it now, we gotta die. Like, I just kept thinking like, yo, this some bullshit. This, this fat motherfucker gonna say, I did it. I said, oh man. So he's sitting there, the dude, uh, with the joint, the one uh, with the baseball back gonna put the bat to my head. He said my name, so I knew who it was once he said my name. He said, uh, he said, church, you get out. I'm sitting here looking like, and I'm thinking in my head, man, I leave this bitch, I ain't never gonna see my niggas no more, man. I kept thinking that. So I'm just like, man, I'm all right, man. I'm gonna stay here with them. I knew then, like, man, this shit, like, it is what it is, you feel me? That's when I knew, like, it, it is what it is, like, these my brothers, I'ma have to go with them. I can't see myself walking out this house and leaving them in here for them to never come back. I just couldn't see myself leaving. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stay with them. So he said, all right. He ain't say nothing else after that. They sat there for like a good like 30 seconds in silence and was like, where the money at that, uh, that we took? We like, we had probably like three dollars, something like that. We get him like, man, that's all we had. Was he only had a couple dollars? He's like, yeah, he only had like fucking twenty dollars. Why the fuck y'all this and that? If y'all want some money, y'all could have sold this. And he was trying to draw us in. After that point, I'm like, what the fuck going on? Am I dying or I'm getting an application? So I'm sitting here like, man. Next thing you know, he's like, man, y'all get the fuck up and get the fuck out. I'm, man, get y'all shit. I'm lifting niggas up, man. Get the fuck. We getting the fuck out of here. I get my shit and go, man. Like. Man, when I say, yo, we walked out of that motherfucker so quiet, as soon as we hit the corner, we just all start bust out laughing, like, oh my God, yo, yo. When I say, yo, we was this close to being the fuck out of here, yo. So I just tell everybody, yo, like, yo, you never know who them, you think cause a man a junkie and all that, he might be man, down. Man, you don't know who his family is, man, cause I ran into some real stone cold gorillas, boy, fucking with this man. I said, oh, no, nah, we ain't doing that shit no more. Mm -mm. Never again. But yeah, y'all, that's the story, man. That, that shit. I, I, I wouldn't want this for nobody else, boy, because I was scared shit. Boy. I swear, I probably could have shit at myself. But y'all be careful out here. Y'all be safe, man. Stay dangerous, whatever y'all got to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share, dislike, hate. Tell motherfuckers you don't like it. Tell people you love it. I don't give a fuck. Just do something.